Uh, what is your uh, creative analysis about our Prime Minister inaugurating uh. the new parliament building? Uh, okay, <laughs> why are you asking me now? No, I felt like that there was very, some very critical things that he did, yeah. which we could creatively analyze, analyze to understand what he was trying to portray. So I thought that maybe you might have some creative analysis about it, and I want to hear what entity, it is. Entity, that entity. Building is an entity. It's a live entity. There is nothing dead in this planet Earth or in the universe. All right. Then president, uh, by some other means, inaugurating it. Then there should be a puja. Even for... Uh, but uh, you have to consider another aspect. Who is Narendra Damodadas Modi? He has his preparation towards this kind of uh, subtle, sublime aspects of Indian culture and the Indian tradition of uh, this kind of rituals of uh, uh, inaugurating uh, an entity. He has had a, a very rigorous training in the philosophy of Indian uh, tradition uh, through his uh, RSS background, uh, uh, in which he re participated very genuinely with complete dedication and uh, sincerity. He was, uh, at, the, at the age of 18, he was even heading some local uh, RSS uh, centers. He, is, uh, he was uh, absolutely inspired to join Ramakrishna Mission, RK Mission. At the age of 18, he left uh, Ahmedabad and travelled all the way to Calcutta, to, to the centre of Ramakrishna Mission, to become a member of the mission. And uh, for certain reasons, uh, they did not admit him. Then he went to Jaipur, but, and there also I think it did not happen. Then he finally went to some centre in Ahmedabad itself. And now where he was admitted. And I, and I understand the reasons why they did not admit, but uh, I don't want to tell it openly. So he has that background. He really wanted to become a spiritual leader because his name itself is Narendra. His father was inspired with the philosophy of Vivekananda. The original name of Vivekananda uh, is Narendra. I am sure his father uh, attributed that name to this, his child. Narendra. And look at his name. Narendra Damodar Das. Damodar Das. Again, a wonderful name. And he has that background, he has that clear understanding about the various rituals. See the way he is participating in that. In fact, I saw the Virudarshan video in that. Look at him. I am sure he did not do all those rituals as the Prime Minister of India. Not even as Narendra Damodar Das Modi, but as just a being. He was constantly focusing on his beingness. Okay? So, only he could do that. Mananiya Pradhan Mandri, Abhi Sankal play rahe hai. Anybody, nobody else could do that. Expressions on his face were much more sublime than the expressions of the so-called Pujaris and the other people there. So that's why he did it. Okay. So inauguration by the president, then this puja would be done. Uh, in fact, nobody could do, nobody I suppose uh, can do those rituals with the apparent uh, expressions and responses and behaviors and actions and uh, subsequent behaviors he manifested there. It was not at all based on any planning or anything. It occurred spontaneously to him. So uh, that's why he did it. He thought he considered himself with absolute detachment. He was just doing it. Okay, And uh, uh, he, uh, nobody else could be identified also to do that. That's what I think is the reason. And he's completely detached from that, as I told you. That's all. Okay. Yeah, this is my creative analysis, yes. All right, Mandra. Yeah, I can analyze it further, but uh, that's not required. To who? No? Yeah, but then 
then uh, what about the Chengol? Or Sengol water? Yeah. When after having done this uh, kind of, uh, let's say, desiccation of the temple of parliament building, there should be some symbol. Everything is represented through a symbol also. In fact, most of the uh, human ideologies uh, carry that symbol. Even the various deities are a symbol only, okay, or symbolic. There is no guarantee that uh, the, the figures of Shiva or Parvati or Lakshmi or Saraswati or even Jesus uh, or even Buddha uh, were the real uh, profile or real body shape of uh, those entities. They are all basically symbolic only, symbols only. Okay? Even for a king, there is the symbol of the crown and uh, uh, various other paraphernalia, including a chamkol for the king. So some power, okay? So all the deities uh, carry those kind of symbols. And even in the temple, there's the front of flag post, and there are many other symbolic uh, aspects uh, in the structure of a temple, okay? So there should be a symbol. And uh, 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 which other uh, item uh, the Bharati Janda Party or the planners or those who meditated on how to do all these things, they considered it as the most appropriate. What about whatever background of it uh, that it was gifted to uh, the first Prime Minister or uh, it was in the Chola background, they are all, let us say, incidental but has certain value, especially that uh, uh, the background of one of the largest temples in the history of India, the Chola dynasty. So it was there, it's a well-crafted thing and uh, mm, uh, that is very suitable and appropriate. And even that, how he received it, see, he does say Sastanga Pranama. It's all very genuine, it's all very genuine, so nobody can pretend like that. Then why don't everybody else do at least a pretension? Okay. To look at it as pretension or something else like somebody interpreted is just a very silly, narrow mindset only. That is not the way it should be seen. Then various rituals of marriage can be pretension. Various rituals of marriage in whatever culture it could be equally disqualified by this kind of stupid logical fallacies of unethical logics of human beings. This is the normal distribution population that I always tell you. There is a normal distribution of population the basic concept of psychology. That means the majority has some mediocre mindsets. They have not been trained in many, many aspects of the culture or tradition or history or philosophy and all those things. That human difference is that philosophical mindset. The power of the intellect to discern things, to differentiate things, to analyze creatively uh, uh, things and entities and objects and phenomena in the environment. So, uh, that's all. And he installed it near the uh, what, for position of the speaker, not near the crowd or wire or the prime minister or anything like that. And you can uh, look at it, you know, uh, when that uh, Chengol was established there, the way he is uh, offering flowers and the way the speaker was doing it. See? The speaker also is a Hindu. You can look at the difference in the expressions of both the people. See? And uh, uh, I, I, I recall a particular uh, instance when the speaker is doing the flowers on the chengol, he looks at the top of the chengol, you know. It is as if uh, I understand it perfectly. I can talk a lot about making it uh, much more comprehensible, but uh, that's not the purpose. Yeah, that's why it is quite symbolic, that's all. Okay. And there is an inscription on that also. It is in Tamil language, one of the oldest and one of the most beautiful poetic languages in the world. Alright? And, okay, people may attribute political reasons and all that. It could be there. Then what else he should do? It is his ideology or his party's ideology. And he should undermine it. That's what uh, the other political parties are asking for. If they were in charge, what would they do? It is all, it is the tragedy of India, let us say so. 
this kind of a divisive attitude of the indian culture indian population that only originally led to the invasion of the foreign people to india okay so uh, that is something inherent in the indian uh, indian let's say genius and that's why personally i also am very disappointed about uh, that divisive culture of india continuing even today which will end up in much more greater tragedies in the future also all right that's all so jangor is symbolic all right that's all he did it and uh, Uh, he is absolutely clear about that and many others also anyway i am absolutely clear about that from a creative perspective he has done the most wonderful act no doubt about that nothing else can replace it no editing is possible no doubt about that